Hi, welcome to this Corporate Maths video on rationalizing denominators. In this video, we're going to look at how to rationalize denominators for slightly trickier expressions. So rather than rationalizing the denominator for something quite straightforward like this, 3 over root 2, where you would just multiply both the numerator and the denominator by root 2 to get rid of the third on the denominator, we're going to look at how to rationalize something like this, 10 over 4 subtract root 3. So if you have something like this, 10 over 4 subtract root 3, what you're going to do is multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of the denominator. So the conjugate is the same expression but with the opposite sign. So instead of 4 subtract root 3, we're going to multiply the denominator by 4 plus root 3. And that will help get rid of the thirds on the denominator. And we're going to multiply the top by that as well because obviously we want it to be an equivalent fraction. So doing that, let's multiply the top, the numerator, by 4 plus root 3. Well, that would be 10 bracket 4 plus root 3. We'll expand that in a moment. And the denominator, I'm going to put quite a large fraction line in there, will be, and I'm going to put this in brackets, so it's going to be 4 minus root 3 multiplied by 4 plus root 3. Now, multiplying out the top line and the bottom line, or the numerator and the denominator would give us, well, 10 times 4 would be 40, and 10 times root 3 would be plus 10 root 3. And on the denominator, multiplying out here, so we're going to use FOIL, we're going to expand the brackets, so 4 times 4 would be 16. 4 times plus root 3 would be plus 4 root 3. Minus root 3 multiplied by 4 would be minus 4 root 3. And finally, minus root 3 times root 3, well remember root a times root a is a, so minus root 3 times root 3 would be minus, and then root 3 times root 3 is root 9, which is just 3. And as you can see here, the plus uh, 4 root 3 and the minus 4 root 3, they're going to cancel out nicely, and that's why we're multiplying by the conjugate, so the thirds cancel out. And then that would give us, on the numerator, 40 plus 10 root 3, and on the denominator, 16 take away 3, and 16 take away 3 is 13. Now, whenever you get to this point, I sometimes look to see if I can cancel things down, but obviously we've got 13 on the denominator. Well, 40 is not a multiple of 13, so things aren't going to cancel down nicely, so you could just leave it like that. So the question says, rationalize the denominator of 10 over 4 subtract root 3. Well, the answer would be 40 plus 10 root 3 over 13. And as you can see here, we don't have any thirds on the bottom line, which is great. And to do that, what we done was we multiplied both the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of the denominator. So the same expression, but with the opposite sign. Okay, let's have a look at another question now. So our next question says, rationalize and simplify 6 plus 2 root 5 over root 5 subtract 1. So we're going to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of the denominator. So here we have root 5 subtract 1. So we're going to multiply both the top and the bottom by root 5 plus 1. So root 5 plus 1. Just changing the sign. So doing that will give us, and we're going to put them both in brackets here. So we're going to have 6 plus 2 root 5, and then in brackets root 5 plus 1. And then on the denominator, we're going to have root 5 minus 1 times by root 5 plus 1. And we're going to use FOIL twice here. We're going to expand both of these brackets. So 6 times root 5 would be 6 root 5. 6 times 1 would be plus 6. 2 root 5 times root 5. Well, root 5 times root 5 is 5. And then multiplying that by 2 would be then 10. So it would be plus 10. And 2 root 5 multiplied by 1 would be plus 2 root 5. And then on the denominator, what that's going to be, well, root 5 times root 5 is 5. Root 5 times 1 would be plus root 5. Minus 1 times root 5 would be minus root 5. And finally, minus 1 times 1 would be minus 1. Now we're going to see if we can cancel anything out here. So the root 5 take away the root 5, will they cancel out? That's great. So the denominator is just going to be 5 take away 1, which is 4. So let's actually do that. Let's put our 4 in the denominator. And on the numerator, well, we had 6 root 5 plus 2 root 5. Well, that would be 8 root 5. And we also had 6 plus 10, and 6 plus 10 would be equal to 16. So we have got 8 root 5 plus 16 over 4. So this is really good because we've got 8 root 5 and 16, and they're both multiples of 4, so we can divide both of them by 4, and that will give us, well, 8 lots of root 5 divided by 4 will be 2 lots of root 5.
and then 16 divided by 4 would be plus 4. And that's it, that's fantastic. So uh, that's why I really like these questions because we've got something quite complicated to begin with 6 plus 2 root 5 over root 5 subtract 1, and the answer is just simply 2 root 5 plus 4. And it, the denominator is not only rationalized, but it's 1. There's no denominator anymore, it's just 2 root 5 plus 4. Okay, and our last question, our last example. So, last example, we have got rationalize and simplify 5 root 2 plus 9 over 4 root 2 plus 1. So again, we're going to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of the denominator. So instead of being 4 root 2 plus 1, we're going to multiply both the top and the bottom by 4 root 2 subtract 1. Okay, so let's do that. 5 root 2 plus 9, brackets 4 root 2 subtract 1. And then on the denominator, it's going to be 4 root 2 2 plus 1, and then our conjugate 4 root 2 subtract 1. Okay, let's expand our brackets. So we've got 5 root 2 multiplied by 4 root 2. Well, 5 times 4 is 20, and then root 2 times root 2 is 2, and 20 times 2 would be 40. Next, 5 root 2 times negative 1, so it's going to be subtract 5 root 2. We've then got 9 multiplied by 4 root 2, that's going to be plus 36 root 2, just multiplying the 9 by the 4, and then put the root 2 on after. And then finally, 9 times minus 1, well, that's going to be subtract 9. And then that's all over. Well, 4 root 2 times 4 root 2, well, 4 times 4 is 16. And then we've got root 2 times root 2, well, root 2 times root 2 is 2, so 16 times 2 would be 32. We've then got our 4 root 2 multiplied by minus 1, so it's going to be minus 4 root 2. We've got our 1 times 4 root 2, so that'd be plus 4 root 2. And then finally, 1 multiplied by minus 1, which would be minus 1. Then we're going to simplify this. So our minus 4 root 2 and our plus 4 root 2, they're going to cancel out. That's great. On the numerator, we've got 40 subtract 9. Well, 40 subtract 9 would be 31. We've then got minus 5 root 2 plus 36 root 2. That's going to be plus 31 root 2. And then on the denominator, we had 30, uh, 2 subtract 1. So that's going to be 31. And again, that's great because both of the terms on the numerator are multiples of 31. So we can divide them both by 31. So that would give us 31 divided by 31 is 1. And 31 root 2 divided by 31, well, that's just going to be root 2. So again, this is sort of why I really like this topic because you've got something really complicated, 5 root 2 plus 9 over 4 root 2 plus 1. And by just rationalizing the denominator, it sort of all cancels down to just 1 plus root 2, which is really simple. And that's it. If you are rationalizing denominators, if you multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate, it should help you rationalize that denominator.